Hello, this is Mark at Garage Guitars in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and I'm here to show you this very beautiful copper top, Dan Electro, silver tone branded, Dan Electro um, 59, model U1. Uh, so the U1 had a single pickup, the U2 had two. Um, it has a tone, tone knob and a tone switch. The switch turns it from a high pass to a low, low pass. So that's kind of a handy switch to have, I think. Um, oh, it has this great decal that says, Us Martians go for stereo. Um, so let's talk about its attributes. As, like I said, 59, pretty early on the, on the Dan Electro scale. Uh, the beginning of their heyday, um, 59 to 69 is kind of the... Um, uh, the guitar craze era that uh, Dan Electro capitalized on. Dan Electro's, here's a little background, um, made in New Jersey, made independently of Fender or Gibson designs. They invented their own electric guitar. Uh, Nathan Daniel was also a guitar amp maker like Leo Fender was and decided to make a guitar to go with his amps. And um, design-wise, uh, he used very inexpensive parts. They cost a quarter of what a Fender cost. And this one, like I said, is branded Silver Tone. It was sold at Sears stores. Uh, Sears would commission them to make, you know, X number of thousand of these guitars and sell them at a certain price. And uh, this is one of those. So, uh, the bridge, you know, a lot of unique designs. The bridge, of course, having a rosewood saddle and a metal bridge. They used a lot of metal. This is what they call the lipstick case pickup. Kind of looks like a lipstick case. Uh, the... There's rumors that they were actual lipstick cases he bought, or some it just kind of looks like it, but doesn't matter. Uh, a metal nut rather than a bone or plastic nut. Um, this has what they call the dolphin head stock. Has that sleek look. Uh, most of these, uh, this model we find from this era, all of the ones we found photos of, actually had uh, three aside, what they call the Coke bottle head stock. Uh, what else do we have to tell you about this guitar? Let's, let's have a look at the back side. So uh, the scale length was distinct from Fender and Gibson. Um, initially, I thought someone had stripped the back of the neck, but it turns out I've seen a bunch of them with this back, you know, this clear, um, unpainted back of the neck with a uh, clear coat over it. So that could be original as well. Uh, strip tuner, three bolts holding the neck on, and three bolts in a row. Not the greatest idea, but it held up. <laughs> um, these, these guitars are still around. Um, of course, triangles make better um, support, but um, this is the pickup adjustment on the back side. So the guitars were made of masonite, uh, composite material. Um, it had a ponderosa pine kind of cutout was made first. Then the masonite was glued to the top and the back. Um, and the... Uh, Besides, this is kind of like wallpaper kind of stuff. It's just kind of glued on in a stripe. And behind that is, uh, is the pine. And this one had been refretted. But uh, a lot of them still have the original frets on them when we see them. Uh, a lot of these guitars did get abused because they were sold cheaply. So uh, they were given to children or, you know, just thought less of. But there's always been... Even when they stopped making them in the 70s. And, you know, Jimmy Page is famous for playing slide on one because, I think, because of the scale length mostly. But the super cool sound these pickups give you. Um, so that there's always the legend of the Dan Electro, even when they were just, just gone. And now, of course, Dan Electro began making guitars in the, in the 90s. And uh, now there's a, Dan Electro has been revitalized. And they're making a lot of the old guitars and new innovative guitars. They're really great. But uh, if you see one of these, they're still reasonably priced. We're selling this one in the store, but by the time you see this video, it probably won't be here. Um, so, um, if you can get a deal on one, get one. They're cool. Thanks for watching. And Garrett's Guitars, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, check us out YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you check things out. Thanks for watching.